everybody, welcome to Dr. Dave's Brigade. Today I've got the queen of the remix, Linda Ronstadt. Love her voice. She's one of my favorites. So, Hurt So Bad is the one we're going to do today. The official video that uh, she put out a few years back, eight years ago, nine years ago. Something like that. Uh, it's not the studio uh, official version that you would hear on the radio, but uh, I like it. And uh, so let's get to it. And the way, if you're new here, the way I do it is I don't stop the video. I let it play all the way through. I don't stop it every two or three minutes and comment. I may say something over the video, just a little quick comment or something, but I don't stop it. Let it go all the way through. If you like that kind of content, then hit like, subscribe, post notification bell, leave a comment, suggestion. I'd love to hear from you. So let's get to the music and then we'll talk afterwards and I'll tell you a little bit about the song and about her. She's so cute. Standing here, looking at you. Well, let me tell you that it hurts so bad. It makes me feel so sad. It makes me hurt so bad to see you. Perfect placement. Tell me about it. The anguish making me feel it. What a great sound, short and sweet. I like that. <clears throat> Linda has a way of making you feel the anguish, feeling the angst and feeling the pain that she's going through. She was just always called the queen of remakes because a lot of her hits were actually remakes of somebody else. In fact, this one, Her So Bad, was done by Little Anthony and the Imperials in 1965. And then the Letterman did it again in 1969. 
Um, little Anthony took it to number 10 in the hit uh, list at the time, and then the Letterman took it to 12, Linda took it to number 8. So she raised it up uh, uh, several notches and made it a really hit, um, really good hit out of it. She has just got a way of expressing herself, you know, when she, and, and you know, you may have heard me say that was perfect placement. Uh, the gentleman's name that's uh, playing the guitar is Danny Kochmer, and he was like the lead guitarist if you wanted a session guitar. So he was your, on your, your speed dial. And um, he would um, he would come in and play with the various groups and various individuals, and so she called him up and you know right as she's hitting the high note, she's hitting it. He takes over and extends that note with the guitar and just kind of keeps it going into the infinity there for a little while, and um, it's an extension of her voice, you know, and so. Uh, I just, you know, and I know this all in the arrangement of the, I call it placement. It's, it's arrangement. That's the official term, of course. But it's in the placement, you know, putting the guitar solo at the right spot, putting that saxophone or the violin or whatever at the right spot at the right time in order to make a certain effect. And I love that. You know, you know it takes a genius in my mind to, to come up with all that. How, how, do, you, how do you work that out? But this is a great song. You know, she made you feel the pain, the angst, the anguish. And um, I just want to give her a big old Uncle Dave hug. You know, I, you know, I know it hurts, baby. It hurts. It hurts so bad. But anyway, it's a little bit about this song, about the artist. And uh, we'll have a lot more of Linda. She's one of my favorites. So I've already done a few of her, so you might want to look up there. And I may have a card to up there with her name on it. And you can see some of the reactions I've done with her. Well, thanks a lot. Welcome. Hit like, subscribe, post notification bell if you like this kind of content and, and uh, this style. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what you want to hear next and what you would like for me to do. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Help oh, Uncle Dave stay on the air. Be good to each other out there. And don't forget to be good to yourself, okay? All right, come back and see me. Bye.